Hey class, today we're going to be factoring sum and difference of cubes, and I'm going to start with a more basic example of x cubed minus 8. Now, there's a lot of videos out there that show you the formula shortcut to getting the factors for these, but sometimes it's hard to memorize all the formulas and it's nice to have another option. So the way I like to do this is if I'm trying to factor this, I ask myself a question. What cubed minus 8 is 0? And if I can get my first real answer out of this, and you can solve for x, x is going to be 2. If I know x is 2, then I know that one of my factors is going to be x minus 2, switching the sign there. So I can use a, a box to organize my work here. It's going to be a 3 by 2 box, x cubed minus 8 inside the box, and I know one of my factors is going to be x minus 2, so I can put that on the side. Now it's just a matter of making sure that my outsides multiply to the insides. So x squared times x gives me x cubed. x squared times negative 2 gives me negative 2. x squared, uh, negative 2 times positive 4, jumping over here, will give me this negative 8. And then I have to kind of think about my equation. If you notice, there's an x cubed function part. And then there's the negative 8, and there's no middle terms, which means a couple things. I need this negative 2x squared to cancel out with a positive 2x squared. So I can write that in, and then I know that this has to be a positive 2x in order to make that work. Positive 4 times x gives me a positive 4x. So again, I need this to be a negative 4x to cancel it out. And now my box is complete, which means x cubed minus 8 can be rewritten with the factors x minus 2 and x squared plus 2x plus 4. Uh, if you need to solve the equation for x's from here, just note that you'll have one real root. And from this equation here, you'll have two imaginary roots. and. Uh, and that's it for factoring sum and difference of cubes.